Hi Virgo, I hope that you're all doing well. We're here with the timeless reading. Page of Pentacles wanting to come out. Okay, Virgo, we have Ten of Swords and we also have Five of Wands here. Wow, okay. This is how Ten of Swords and Five of Wands came out. This is feeling to me like a T square. So having Ten of Swords is about a situation where the thing has happened. You can feel like you're still very much dealing with that. And there's also conflict about this. What this means too is that there could have been there could have been a fight, something could have come to a head, a conflict, a disagreement, there being a disgruntled energy, some type of issue here. It feels even like this reminds me of something that's sort of coming back up. Like this can be something that you thought was over that ends up resurfacing is kind of how I'm seeing it. Like it feels like this Ten of Swords kind of laid this to rest, but because of this coming up, it feels like some type of unrest actually that's resurfacing and this can really be throwing you off. Like you can be really concerned about this. You can be really worried about this. If you already really went through it with something and you were like, I thought that this argument was over, or I thought that this conflict or this tension was over, I thought we'd put that to rest and I already went through all of this to sort of lay that to rest. But now it feels like it's coming back up from the grave again. And then having, it's like a fight that you think you're never gonna have to have with a person and then you guys are like fighting about it again. It feels like that, but it feels like stuff has happened and you could have thought like you had to go through all this difficult stuff and you thought that it was over and like that this would never happen again because this indicates that there's this, like I thought that that cycle was over. I didn't think that this was an issue anymore. I thought we already went through that and kind of settled it. So I didn't have to think about that anymore. And now this feels like that's not actually the case. Like. Like that it's somehow like fighting its way through to come back out again because maybe it actually wasn't resolved. Maybe you try to bury something without it really being dead and now it's coming back like you didn't kill me. It feels like that energetically speaking, what I'm seeing here. And this can be that like not wanting to deal with that. This can feel very upsetting that this is happening again. Like I didn't think I was gonna have to do this again. You could have also felt like this isn't, yeah, this really isn't something that you may want to resurface right now, but it feels like it it's there again. Like this somehow got restarted. So maybe this is about a, a message or a conversation. There can also be concern about... Moves being made based off of this. How does that make sense? I'm seeing almost this, this fear of making a move based off of what one is feeling. Like something needs to be mobilized, something needs to be expressed, a move needs to be made, something needs to be articulated, shared, but more so from an internal space, more so from a, an in-touch emotional place where one knows what exactly they're attempting to articulate here. But there can be this like really big fear behind it that may be making it difficult to do so 
this is a lot of fret and a lot of fear associated with something that one feels like they need to do. Because this feels like a matter of urgency even, but this can be having a really hard time needing to show up and do something, show up and say something, show up and communicate something to mobilize the way that one is feeling. And there being a lot of tension. This is, <clears throat> this is even like, I have to say something and I'm so worried about what's going to happen if I say that. I know in my heart that this is what I'm feeling and this is what I want to say, but I'm worried about what's going to happen if I do. That's what I'm getting from this. Let me say it this way too. If you had a falling out with someone, and actually because I'm not seeing the death card, because it's only the 10 of swords, this can mean that you and somebody got into it, or you were, this looks like it has to do with another person to me actually more so. For, so for most of you, it probably will. Having this five of wands here and having ten of swords there can be this like there was a disagreement there was clashing there was something and it could have felt like it really ended badly like just because of there being this feeling of conflict with what was going on and then feeling like sort of the lid was closed and that sort of feels like its own thing so it can be you and somebody else you get into an argument with one another and then whatever was said was said and then that's kind of that having there be now this nine of swords and having this knight of cups here can be that you want to reach out to them you can be wanting to say something to them or this can be they somebody this person that's involved in this reached out to you and you can feel out of sorts because of it so whoever is the person, let's just read it like it's your energy and then you can reverse it if that's what aligns for you. Tension happened, felt like things ended badly. Somebody wants to reach out to another person but they're feeling a lot of anxiety about that. So this person in this nine of swords is like, I'm terrified of saying something and what's gonna happen if I say something but the part of me that is feeling feels like I need to say something. And having there be three of pentacles here, the person that is the knight of cups that feels like even though they're terrified, they really wanna make this move and they really wanna say something. The intention of this person is that they want to try to work something out that feels like it's still unresolved. So let's say you and somebody, you started clashing, you had an argument about something and you never came to a point where there was like a, the word nullified is coming through. It feels like like there's the argument is still there like the problem is still there but you could have decided like let's not talk about it again but it the problem is still there and so it actually wasn't worked out it wasn't resolved is what i'm seeing and then i'm seeing one of the parties which looks like your energy wanting to come through and resolve something so Feeling terrified and not knowing if I put myself out there and I say something, what's going to happen? I'm terrified, but I really want to because what I want is I want us to work together and I want us to try to figure this out. I want us to try to work this out. Meaning somebody doesn't like the way that things were left or things ended. Even though I'm not seeing it be a full stop, actually. And they want to bring this back up, this issue back up to try to resolve it. But there is this feeling of, of I don't know how this is gonna be received. I don't know how this is gonna go over, but I, I wanna work this out. I don't want it to feel like this thing is still there and we're just not talking about it, but it's still there. It's still not worked out. So the message is about wanting to work this out. 
wanting to try to work together and try to figure it out, trying to hear each other's perspectives, and maybe we can come to some type of agreement or compromise or understanding even. Maybe there's something more to learn here. Before too, you could have felt like the energies that were clashing, you couldn't go any further with that. And now it feels kind of like this cycle is being opened again, or there's an attempt to reopen this cycle. It's about something that was never resolved. I'm seeing it wasn't resolved. Just because you can say we're not gonna talk about it anymore doesn't mean it wasn't, doesn't mean it was resolved. I'm seeing it wasn't. But that could have very much happened like we're not gonna talk about this anymore. We're not gonna bring this up anymore. But still it didn't fix what was going on. It didn't work out what was going on. And so there's still, there's still potential of energy for something to be worked out. And that is like the whole thrust of this. Definitely an interpersonal thing that I'm seeing here. This is major clashing, and this has to do with somebody that you care about. This is somebody that you're close with enough that it feels like... What is it? Like when things get heated, you know, and there's conflict, pressure, square, that sort of energy with this that I'm seeing, of there being like a battle that happens within your relationship with this person. And I'm seeing things not end in a good way. Like things could have ended really badly, but it doesn't, because of not seeing the death card, this isn't like, I'm never gonna talk to you again. I mean, I don't know what was said exactly between you and this person, but this was more so like, when that thing happened it feels like it was so painful and there wasn't enough sometimes things can't be worked out until later and this feels like a later attempt to work something out but now is later in this scenario so this feels like at some point in time in the past you and this person you had this thing go on it feels like you guys couldn't work it out any further at that point in time because you guys needed to go into other timelines and do things. And now this energy is coming back around to see if you guys can work together and actually work out this conflict. So in hopes of this being resolved, in hopes of learning things, in hopes of understanding, in hopes of maybe there being just something where there's like this feeling that, that there's an openness now enough for things to make progress, for there to be progress that you could have felt like in the past, it couldn't go past that point. Now it feels like there's more room. Having the lovers here indicates that this is about a relationship with you and somebody where you guys care about each other to have the lovers here. This is not some, some stranger walking down the street. This is somebody that you had a close relationship with And so that's what can feel devastating about this. When you have a really like a blowout with somebody that you felt very close with at a point in time and there is love within the connection with that person, it can make it very excruciating to go through something when you feel like there's clashing rather than you guys getting along with one another. Because it's somebody that you care about so you want things to be good with them, but I'm seeing there was definitely a problem here. That feels like the problem still remains, but now there's a possibility for it to actually be worked on. And that one wants to now. There is a willingness and there's also a vulnerability with the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups here of, I don't know how this is gonna be received. I don't know how this is going to go. I feel very uncomfortable with, but I, with this, but I have to say how I'm feeling. That like I wanna try to work on this together. It feels like one even took the time to look at the relationship and like, wow, this has meaning for me and maybe it's not something that I want to be left like that. And so sort of putting one's defenses aside a little bit here to make a move. 
to see if we can get things moving. There can be a feeling of rejection that's tied to this, that's connected with this. There can also be a, a feeling of one, not wanting to engage again in something that's just going to end the same way. And that can be where the fear is coming from of even saying something. And this can be on both sides too. The person that's making the move we'll call them the knight of cups here the person that is the knight of cups they don't want to like it is their worst fear right now to show up and not be received well and have the person like shun them and be like no i don't care let's just still leave it like that and then also to the person on the receiving end can be like i don't want to get into a fight again i don't want this to be a thing again and i don't want things to end badly again so there can be that bit of resistance there can be that bit of even turned off by the relationship now but because of the pain not because of what the relationship is in its pure essence because it is love in its pure essence but more so the i feel very turned off by the conflict i feel turned off by the tension i feel turned off by the fighting and i feel turned off by the pain that is experienced clashing through something that feels like it's not getting resolved and so that's sort of the leftover feeling that's there that still feels like it's pretty relevant to the storyline currently. Neptune. Hmm. So somebody's had a change in perspective and this does shift things then. That means that that means that there is seeing things differently that weren't being seen before and that's what allows things to be different this time around. So rather than this being a repeat cycle, you can get a different outcome now with this person. If you go back in like same problem but you're going to have a different outcome with them because perspectives have changed now. That's what makes this possible. And what I'm also seeing too is that the unwillingness that was there before has turned into a willingness now. So things actually are different. This won't be the same thing with you and this person. There has been a change that can allow this to have a different outcome if it's worked on again. Stuff was realized. Speaking from a place of vulnerability and transparency is going to be very helpful here. And also too, releasing old narratives can be part of this as well. Heightened emotions. This feels like a, a, a clash that does have to do with stuff emotionally going on. That there was emotional conflict that was a big part of this. Hanged man is what can allow you to work with this person where you guys can work something out by collaborating with each other to resolve something rather than fighting to resolve something where there's like opposition because when you fight the way that i'm seeing this in this specific situation with this person it feels like the way that you guys were were trying to resolve this before was like you have your side and they have their side and you guys were battling to see who would be the winner 
now when with Neptune shifting the perspective and having three of pentacles, it's like you guys can work something out because rather than coming at it with opposition and there being division here, it's like actually working together to try to resolve the common problem and that's what changes things. So there's a different approach that's being taken to this of we don't have to, it doesn't have to be winners and losers here of I'm going to trample all over you to win. This is more so like if we can resolve this, both of us win with each other. So rather than it being that battle of winner and loser with you and this person, which feels kind of like that's how things were happening before, this is more like you guys see each other as you're on the same team here trying to work something out and if you can arrive at a conclusion, that will be beneficial to both of you. Rather than before if you arrived at a conclusion, it would feel like one person was, what's the word, smote? Like, I, I don't know like how this is, yeah, it, like one person would have to be crushed by the other person and there would just be like one winner and it feels like a division there. It feels like like that type of opposing like enemies with one another. So having this turn into then, oh, we're on the same team and what we are trying to work out is that thing that's sort of coming at us energetically. It sort of changes how things are being approached then. So it's not that battle of the wills against one another, where it's kind of like every man for himself. This is more so like we're working as a team together and there being a sense of collaboration there, rather than that very black and white way of dealing with this that actually causes, like creates more division. This is about arriving at a point together so this isn't like, let's see who can run to the top of the hill the fastest. It's like, how can you get there the fastest together with one another? Because like you don't get the points until the other person gets up the hill too, so you might as well help each other. And that's what makes the difference this time around. Because this actually feels like something that one has felt, and I think both of you guys too, like there has been a lot of emotional and mental turmoil here because of the way that things were being approached before. Then I feel like there's maybe a bit of a, of a more understanding perspective about the whole like hill metaphor with you and this person where it's like before it was like good luck running up the hill and you and this person are like pushing each other down to see who can climb to the top and now there's that like oh we're here working together because even if somebody did get to the the hill first in the past before the other person it doesn't feel like a win because you're not both there and it feels like it's about something else other than resolving that and now it feels like whatever that was has kind of gotten out of the way now so that's what I'm seeing be the shift here. It feels too like that realization has been really important too because one may have realized now that it's not gonna be a, a win unless we both get to the top together. And I don't think that that was realized before but it feels like it took things getting to the point that they did and then having to sit with that for the perspective to shift at that point like there was grace that sort of seeped into things at that point in time and that allowed for an unraveling to take place of like this doesn't feel like a win to me yeah that's what i'm seeing this feels pretty like a closed circuit to me. You guys sort of, the tension there that was there before, the feelings that spilled over, now there's the opportunity for you guys to work on things and work things out. There's gonna be a big working on your relationship and that being what can be happening now. Seeing Magician on the bottom of the deck has to do with our intentions.
I feel like there's also a more practical way of doing things now too that before maybe didn't feel so tangible. I feel like that's what this element of having Gemini and Neptune here creates. It's important stuff being realized. Yeah. Okay, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.